so in this portion mainly the gland of eyelid and conjunctivita so if we draw a picture that is so here's the lead and that is the tarsal plate this is the conjunctivita palpebral fornix and bulbar conjunctivita so if we consider the tear film at first tear film is made up of three layer mainly the outer oil layer and the inner mucus layer and in between the oil and the mucus layer there is a aqueous layer so if you think the tear film and its layers it's become more easy to remember the gland where it is situated and the function of the gland and how the tear film is formed so one by one the first oil layer so oil layer is formed mainly by the secretion of sebaceous gland so there is this three or two sebaceous gland so from anterior to posterior so there is a lead and this is the eyelash so one sebaceous gland or modified sebaceous gland known as gland of jays open into the air follicle so this is the gland of jays situated in the eyelid or the margin portion of the eyelid and open into the eyelash so it is the modified sweat gland so first of all oil layer so oil layer is formed by the secretion of sebaceous gland so first sebaceous gland is gland of jays situated in the margin of the lid open into the hair follicle or eyelash so clinically the gland of jays is important so number 2 the second gland open into directly in the duct of gland of jays known as gland of moll so gland of moll so gland of jays and gland of moll so gland of jays and the gland of moll secreting the sebus is the modified sebaceous gland and secreting the oily layer this is the outer layer of the tear film and it's clinically important if acute inflammation of the gland leads to formation a clinically important thing that is external hordeolum so it is supportive mainly and it is the acute inflammation of eyelid so there is another sebaceous gland modified sebaceous gland known as gland of mebobian situated in the stromal portion of the tarsal plate so gland of mebobian situated in the tarsal plate and it is also clinically important if any acute inflammation in the mebobian gland leads to formation of disease known as internal hodeolum hodeolum sorry external hodeolum is also known as tie so another clinically importance of the mebobian gland if the if there is any 
so number two this is the mavobian cyst or chalagion so what is it so mavobian slit is not cyst is a nothing but is a chronic inflammation non-infective chronic inflammation leading to formation of granulomatous tissue okay so here we complete the gland mainly the oil secretion or oil layer of the tear flame mainly nothing but a modified sebaceous gland situated in the eyelid and secrete oil which is the outer layer of the tear flame this is the outer layer and this is the inner layer so the next is the second layer that is the aqueous layer in the tear flame so there is a mul there is a number of gland situated in the eye leads to formation of the aqueous layer so if we draw this is the iris and this is the pupil here there is a lacrimal gland lacrimal duct canaliculi lacrimal puncta lacrimal canaliculi common canaliculi lacrimal sac and nasolacrimal duct so so aqueous layer is mainly formed by the secretion of lacrimal gland mean lacrimal gland situated in the superolateral portion of the fornix or upper fornix and there is also some accessory lacrimal gland situated in the so here is the lacrimal gland along with the lacrimal gland some gland are present this is known as accessory lacrimal gland so gland of cross and also to the superior border of the tarsal plate is a gland known as gland of olfery so if we draw the picture of conjunctivita that is the palpebral conjunctivita and this is the fornix this is the palbar conjunctivita and the limbal conjunctivita so the conjunctivita has three layer outer epithelial layer middle lymphoid or adenoid layer and the inner mucosal layer so in the corneal conjunctivita there is a some mucosal layer in the limbal epithelium so there is a gland known as gland of mange is a mucus secreting gland secretion of secretion of this gland leads to formation of the mucus layer that is the inner layer of the tear film also there is a in the epithelium of the conjunctivita there is a goblet cell which is a unicellular mucus secreting gland which leads to formation of the mucus layer so this is more about the gland of the eye mainly the conjunctivita and the lids